Luxor is the ancient city of Thebes and was founded along with the temple around 1400 BC. Around the mid 1800s it was known that there was a vast temple lying beneath the sand and rubble. It was in 1881 that Marriott Pasha started to excavate the site. Amenhotep III is responsible for most of the work carried out here especially the vast colonnade ahead of us and the courtyard beyond that. The temple again is dedicated to Amun-Ra, but also became popular as a place of worship for his wife, Mut. The entrance pylons and the first courtyard were built by Ramesses II, Hence, wherever you look in these areas, are many statues of Ramesses. The main function for the temple was for festivals, and they could last anything up to eight days at a time. Amun-Ra, amongst other things, was seen as a fertility god, so many of the etchings here are in that vein. The temple is made from sandstone and there is continuous renovation work being carried out. At the far end of the temple complex are the remains of an old Christian or Coptic church. One of the unusual features of Luxor Temple is that it has a mosque. The mosque was originally built in 1155, but has been completely rebuilt throughout the passing centuries. The impressive avenue of sphinxes was started by a hatchet suit and completed by Nectanebo I. The sphinxes originally had ram's heads, but Nectanebo changed them to human form. The original avenue connected Luxor Temple to Karnak Temple and would have been approximately two mile long. The entrance pylons built by Ramesses II are roughly 24 metres high and the two statues of Ramesses either side of the entrance are approximately 12 metres high. <laughs> <laughs> 